So as an attorney in the community, I get a whole lot of questions about some of the things when it comes to police interaction with civilians. And of course you get my perspective, but it's another thing to get a police officer's perspective. Today we've got Sergeant Rob here to give us the perspective of somebody who is not only a police officer, but also trains police officers when it comes to interactions with civilians. So, you know, some of the questions based off earlier, you know, let's keep that thing going when it comes to decreasing officer anxiety. You know, what are some more tips that you can give us to lower the officer's anxiety as he or she approaches the vehicle for a traffic stop? That's another great question. There are so many unknowns and the officer has so many different things to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. So as I'd said earlier, if there is uh, low light or nighttime, I like to lower all my windows in the car and turn my dome light on. Mm -hmm. um, something I, I try to pay attention to is my vehicle. I have a dark tint on my windows. Mm -hmm. So even in the daytime, I'm gonna lower those down anything that I can do. So I immediately tune in so I, I can hear what he's asking me to do. Mm -hmm. There's not very many of them that do it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but there's still some elements of law enforcement that require you to get out of your vehicle and come back to theirs. Mm -hmm. That's an increased risk as far as I'm concerned for the officer. Mm -hmm. So most don't train that way anymore. Okay. Yes, so it's, it's really important that you understand that anything that I can do, I, want, I turn my radio down, I try to make it as calm as I possibly can so I can hear any instructions that are given to me. Mm -hmm. Something that's really important along that same vein is making sure that you stay in the car. I don't do anything on my own without instruction from the officer. I see. Um, that keeps his his threat level kind of kind of down. He doesn't he doesn't perceive a threat. Uh, and I follow any instructions that he gives me, especially when he starts to ask me for insurance verification or my driver's license or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And I always tell him, it's in this place, can I get it now? Mm. I, want to, I want him to be as calm and relaxed as I'm trying to be. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes all the sense in the world. Okay. 